Lindmeyer. What a beautiful fall day. Too bad we couldn't continue this kind of weather for a while, but Mother Nature has other things in mind. Let's take a look at what we'll be tracking. A breezy Wednesday after light winds today. The winds will be picking up and we will have scattered showers to contend with for the next three days, but it will be dry for the upcoming weekend. Today we had a chilly start. This is the coldest morning we've had so far this fall, especially in Madison, where the low is 29 degrees. The last time we were in the 20s, in Madison at least, was way back on, a, on April 26th. Well, today we saw the mercury recover big time. It climbed 33 degrees, topping off at 62 this afternoon. So while we were way below the average low, we were a few degrees above that average high. Fort Erie Guarantee worked out barely. I just kept it on the dartboard. I was four degrees off, but hey, that's close enough. Another $27 went in. Cash pot now up to $135. But it was gorgeous all across southern Wisconsin. Madison actually one of the cooler spots. Many locations were in the mid to even upper 60s. It was 65 in Baraboo, 66 in Lone Rock, 64 in Janesville and Platteville. Prairie du Chien managed to get up to 67 degrees. And off to the west, it was summer-like. Temperatures in the 70s. Denver topped off at 85. There's Rapid City at 80 degrees. We won't see that kind of warmth, but at least we'll keep temperatures in the 60s tomorrow. What's happening? Well, our weather's coming from the northwest, and there's some scattered showers out there, all associated with a low pressure system that's heading our way. Let's track it on future track. The low center itself will be approaching. Uh, we're going to be in the warm sector of the system tomorrow, so it will be quite mild, even though I'm looking for mostly cloudy skies, and there will be scattered showers. But you'll notice the precipitation pattern is really scattered. Nothing widespread, nothing heavy. I'm not looking for thunderstorm activity, generally light showers. Uh, the showers will persist uh, through tomorrow night and into Thursday morning. That's when the low will be moving directly across the state. Tomorrow, the low will stay close enough to give us a chance of more showers in the afternoon. By Friday, things will start to dry out, and there's a lot of quiet weather off to the west, and that's what we can look forward to for this upcoming weekend. Future track shows that clouds will steadily increase throughout the night. Uh, we'll have mostly cloudy skies in the morning with some scattered showers uh, moving through in the afternoon. But you can see, really scattered, and on the light side. Nothing too heavy anticipated. Here we are Thursday 6 a.m. More uh, showers hit and miss around the area and those showers will persist into Thursday. Overall rainfall accumulations maybe a tenth inch uh, at most a quarter inch uh, so it's not going to be anything heavy. Nothing like all the rain that we had this past weekend. Temperatures overnight not nearly as chilly as it was last night. We'll hold in the 40s. We will get into the low to mid 60s tomorrow afternoon but by Thursday, it will be cooler with high temperatures in the 50s. Rain chances uh, will be highest, I think, Wednesday night, Thursday afternoon. Then they'll steadily drop off on Friday. Forecast tonight, increasing clouds, not as cold. Low at 45, south winds at 5 to 10. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, breezy on the mild side. There's a chance for a few showers in the afternoon, high at 63. Scattered showers tomorrow night and some scattered shower activity on Thursday with a high of 58. Just a few showers possible Friday with a high in the upper 50s. There's your weekend. Hey, it's looking good for those of you that have outdoor plans. Maybe you plan to golf, uh, which I think I'm going to try to do. <laughs> I was wondering when you were yeah, going to do that. You though. know, it's a little cool in the 50s, but uh, this time of year, that's the kind of weather you can expect. It's been a while since you've gotten out there. It has, it's but time. it's been uh, two weeks, which is... <laughs> that's a really long. Usually he's out there every day. Uh, I am. This is tough. All right. Thanks, Bob. <laughs>